Hi guys, this video is just going to be on how to create thickness using a plane. This was actually a cube, I've deleted the rest of the cube. Uh, through a couple of different methods, one being Z Modeler, which will be under uh, BZM for Z Modeler. Uh, if you want to find double to turn on your back faces, will be uh, Display Properties Double. Mine's in my custom menu. So, first you would. Uh, Hover over a polygon using the Z modeler tool and Q mesh all polygons. Drag it out on the poly, and there you go. Pretty quick, pretty simple, instant thickness. All right, if you don't want to do that and you want to actually come into geometry, you can go to edge loop, uh, you can go panel loops. Thickness, your polish, whether you want double loops, but if we went panel loops on that now, it's turned it into a circle. That had a slight bit of thickness, but not much. Turn off double and probably polish down to zero and turn off that algorithm. So this little button here on anything in ZBrush is an alternate al algorithm. So that's one algorithm, that's another one. And to excuse me, I have a cold, so let's try that again. There you go, so with polish down, you get to keep the square. So that will add thickness, but it's not real thick. You can uh, change your thickness up here. Try it again, there's a bit more thickness. So it's basically making the border thick rather than the actual geometry. So panel loops is normally done when you're gonna mask something out and then go panel loops. Well, actually, my bad. No, you would change that to a. Uh, let's go here. Last thing, let's go back here, actually. Back to our single plane, turn double back on. So if you were to mask out these two in the middle, change the poly group, and then go edge loop or panel loops. So the panel loop's going to make a panel loop anywhere a poly group intersects, like so. So if you were to, let's go back again, if you were to up the dimensions of it, actually let's just add some thickness. You mesh all polygons, right? Now divide by control D, doesn't matter if we Blurred the corners and then uh, now ask out this. Actually, we'll go to hold control, go to your stroke options, and go freehand. Right, so now go control W to change the poly group, and then go panel loops. Ah, uh, warning cannot be applied to a mesh with multiple subdivision levels, delete lower. Now I'll go panel loops, and there you go. So panel loops and edge loops are basically pretty similar, but they will create an edge loop around your new poly group. So if you just want to add thickness, let's come back down to here, like so, and like I said, Z modeler, and just pull out your thickness if that's your intended uh, outcome. So I hope that helps. Edge loops is pretty much the same. Let's uh, divide that up again. Delete lower and then go same thing. You need a border. Right, let's just make it simple like so. I'll control and alt and tap. That'll sharpen your mask and go edge loop. 
This requires the mesh to be partially hidden. Hide a portion of the current active mesh and try again. All right, so that's okay. Poly loop that. Tap on that. Isolate it using Control and Shift. Now go edge loop. So that's now created an edge loop around the whole border of our poly group, as you can see. So if you were to do that and then use a brush, which I have on a hotkey called Smooth Groups, that'll smooth out your poly group. The more you smooth over it, the smoother result you're going to achieve. Right, control shift and tap to isolate it. Edge loop. Oh my lord, delete lower, always delete lower. Edge loop. Bring it back. Now you have a crispy edge loop around your poly group which is very handy for this sort of scenario. If you go to the move, hold control and tap. So now you have everything masked out except for that. Now hold control and pull it out. And that'll give you this scenario. I've already made a video on this, but I'll show you again. So what I normally do is uncontrol it. All right, draw. Come back into move. I don't know why this works, but hold control and tap, and now control and pull it out. And you get a much neater looking, or you meant to anyway, much neater looking extraction. So that's the difference between edge loops and panel loops. Edge loops will create a nice edge around your polygroup border, panel loops will create your panel loop. Good for stuff like uh, come back a bit. Let's go back to draw, unmask that, subdivide it up. Right, so if you wanted, uh, let's see, we're gonna go control back to freehand, like so, like so. Right, nice and crisp. Delete lower and go panel loops. Ah, oh, hang on, I know what happened. This is why it didn't work because you've got to control W and make new polygroups. So there's your new polygroups. Now go panel loops. And you now have an intersection between each polygroup being red, red, and let's get rid of perspective, the floor, and this polygroup here on the outside. That's why we've got this line here. So I hope that helped you. You can come in and change the thickness of your panel loops, crisp of your edge loop, edge loop mask border. So edge loop mask border would be, let's say, Go back again, right to here, and go so, 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 right, Control W that, so we might have to subdivide it at least once, twice. Right, now we'll go edge loop there. Oop. Control W. Back to the sprite polygroup. There we go. Right, edge loop mask border. So if we control shift that, mask it, bring it back, edge loop mask border. And as usual, delete your subdivision history. So that has created an edge loop in between your mask border and your other polygroup. Like so. So, I hope this helps you out, guys. And 
you need to know anything else, leave a uh, comment underneath the uh, video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.